Thanks to industrial automation, factories are becoming faster, smarter, and more efficient. However, managing these complex systems requires more than technology, it needs a solid framework. Enter the Automation Pyramid, a model inspired by the ISA 95 standard that organizes automation systems across all levels of manufacturing. In this video, you will learn the Automation Pyramid step by step. You will discover how sensors and actuators form the foundation of industrial processes, how controllers and SCADA systems bring intelligence to the operations, and how MES and ERP systems tie it all together at the top. You will also understand the networks and protocols that make communication possible, the timing differences in data flow at various levels, and the common challenges engineers encounter in optimizing these systems. The Automation Pyramid is a five-tier framework that organizes industrial processes. Its levels are production process, sensing and manipulation, monitoring and supervision, manufacturing operation planning, and business and logistics. Let's explore each level in detail and uncover how this model transformed factories worldwide. The base level of the Automation Pyramid is termed the production process, marking the beginning. It incorporates actuators and measuring devices known as sensors, enabling interaction with the physical environment. On the factory floor, sensors play a critical role by collecting data from the measurement of production floor variables, and actuators are tasked with controlling the movement of machinery and keeping it aligned with the desired set points for optimal performance. This level can also include advanced equipment like inverter drives, servo motors, and robots. Inverter drives control the speed of fans and pumps by adjusting voltage and frequency, thus conserving energy and minimizing mechanical stress. Servo motors provide precise control over positioning, making them ideal for tasks requiring fine movement in automation. On the other hand, robots are programmable machines designed for complex jobs such as painting, assembly, and welding. Reaching the next level of the automation pyramid, sensing and manipulation, you encounter the indispensable contributions of PLCs and PID controllers. Their primary function includes collecting input data from measuring instruments installed at the field level. They process this data using their built-in programming to analyze the system's conditions. Subsequently, they generate control signals to guide manufacturing machinery ensuring efficiency and accuracy to the desired set points for optimal operation. Upon reaching the third level of the automation pyramid, you encounter the monitoring and supervision phase, characterized by the extensive use of HMI and SCADA. The SCADA system relies on an easy-to-navigate graphical interface that displays real-time operational data gathered from diverse field devices installed across numerous systems. This data is centralized in an HMI within the control room, ensuring accessible process visualization. SCADA systems are also employed to fine-tune or redefine the operational parameters within PLC and PID controllers. This adjustment begins with a command issued from the SCADA platform, which then communicates directly with the designated controller. Following this, the controller assumes responsibility for overseeing and executing control over the system under its management. Software applications like Historian are essential at this level, enabling the long-term storage and systematic recording of historical process data. These tools allow for trends and anomalies analysis, supporting the continuous improvement of production methods and reducing inefficiencies. HMIs serve a crucial function at this level as each is assigned to supervise and manage individual operational units in the manufacturing process. These devices are not limited to stationary configurations. Mobile versions also exist, enabling operators to carry them conveniently across different areas for seamless, real-time monitoring and efficient control. Moving higher on the automation pyramid, the next level represents manufacturing operation planning. At this level, the Manufacturing Execution System, commonly known as MES, plays a pivotal role. 
The planning department is responsible for carrying out specific crucial management tasks to ensure seamless operations. The MES enables comprehensive oversight of the entire manufacturing cycle, including everything from the initial handling of raw materials to the final stages of production, while also ensuring effective control, real-time tracking, and accurate documentation throughout the process. The MES transforms the gathered data into actionable insights, acting as an interface to streamline the creation of detailed production schedules, monitoring quality assurance processes, gathering critical operational data, managing material inventories, and executing additional essential tasks. Also, the MES provides manufacturers with the tools to thoroughly analyze how equipment and personnel are utilized, monitor their performance, and improve efficiency by reducing waste. At the apex of the automation pyramid lies the business and logistics level, where the ERP or Enterprise Resource Planning System is employed. An ERP system is a collection of different interconnected software applications that collectively offer a unified, overarching view of all business processes. It helps organizations by giving them the capability to keep track of, oversee, and control every facet of their operations, including manufacturing, sales and marketing, purchasing, finance and accounting, human resources, supply chain, e-commerce, customer relationship management, project management, service asset management, etc. It's time to dedicate attention to the various communication types within the automation pyramid. Controlling and monitoring field devices safely is a key responsibility of the automation pyramid's first three levels, which use robust local industrial networks for accurate and fast data communication. The automation pyramid's upper layers, four and five, typically depend on IP-based communication protocols, where standard IT functionalities become more noticeable with each step upward. Now, let's focus on the timeframes of the automation pyramid layers. The automation pyramid's foundation relies on rapid data exchange, in milliseconds or microseconds, between field devices and controllers to ensure process control and quality compliance. As you progress from level two to level three, Transmission frequencies are also high, with SCADA and controllers communicating every few seconds. The primary focus of levels 1 through 3 of the automation pyramid is real-time data analysis and processing. Data is then transferred from the SCADA system to MES and back again, which occurs at intervals of minutes or hours. Level 4 has fewer storage requirements than level 3. The data transfer between MES and ERP is done in intervals ranging from days to months, and its update speed is slower than the rate seen in levels 1 through 4. When data is updated infrequently, such as every few hours or days, there will be gaps in real-time information. Therefore, levels 3 to 5 of the automation pyramid focus mainly on historical data management. Prepare to engage with the challenges of the automation pyramid. First, the automation pyramid restricts the flow of information to adjacent levels, meaning only those directly connected to one another can share data. For instance, while level 1 can freely exchange data with level 2, it cannot transmit data directly to level 3 since the two are not adjacent. Second, legacy hardware can hinder communication between older and newer components of the pyramid. For instance, a plant upgrading its controllers but using legacy equipment like old sensors or actuators might face the issue of the legacy components not connecting directly to the modern systems. Here, converters are needed to facilitate the connection, which can limit data transfer and affect system integration. Third, siloed data causes issues by restricting access to particular departments. For instance, an automation engineer in the field may need machinery performance data but cannot retrieve it instantly. The engineer must depend on manual requests or delayed responses to obtain the necessary details, leading to inefficiencies and missed chances for collaboration or timely action. Fourth in the list of automation pyramid challenges is over-processing data. For instance, KPIs designed to evaluate manufacturing efficiency are processed initially in SCADA and then later rechecked by the production department. 
This duplication wastes valuable time and resources and may cause errors or inconsistencies. Fifth, the automation pyramid faces the issue of delayed information updates, making it difficult for management to act quickly. Without timely access to key data, response times are negatively impacted. Out of curiosity, if you could redesign the automation pyramid, what would you change or add? We'd love to hear your ideas in the comments section. Also, if you found this content helpful, please encourage us by liking the video, subscribing to our channel, and pressing the bell icon. This way, you keep motivating us to produce more informative videos.